Yep. Um, okay, so here we are. Um, so yeah, the what uh, what we're looking at here is uh, the parcel map. Um, this is this is the digital. This I mean, what we do know is that this is from the San Diego data. The uh, what is what is Sandag? What is does anybody here know what Sandag really? It's a public agency, right? I believe so. I think it's it's like an official. It, it has cert, a certain kind of official designation. I'm not sure it's yeah. it's 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 official. San it's, it's Association <laughs> of Governments. Yeah, it's well, not like some. It's not like some kind of like you know student project. It's it's actually a, a fairly intense uh, 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 undertaking. So yeah, it's 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 like under the 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 municipality of 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 San Diego, and then the chain of command would go up to state, and then the state goes up to the federal. Okay. Yeah. So yes. So you you can you can at least uh, rely on that in terms of like um, uh, the level of kind of uh, official like of official uh, data here, and I think that's just the other thing too is we're we're really kind of diving into this kind of idea of data you know now and it's just something that we do it's something we like I don't know it's an acquired taste maybe uh, <laughs> but it, it's a, it's a weird thing it's a weird I would have you know, never it's like universal Don. <laughs> uh so yeah we're looking um specifically at the right now these white lines are looking at are the parcels um and you can see and this is what i was like talking about the projection like you know this kind of uh this kind of like like kind of offset you know so i have google satellite and then i have the parcel um but the cool thing about this this is really fat this is just fat uh fascinating um when you you got, got when you're on a when you're on, when you have a layer selected. I brought in parcels from. Let me just kind of uh, show you real quick. Again, you, everything you're going to bring in, you're going to bring in from this button up here. Okay, these are the layers. So I click on that. We're working in vectors. We're just looking at shape files. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this this button here. Um, this is just to browse to the file location. I have downloaded the parcels uh, shape file right here. Parcel shape. And by the way, it is an enormous uh, file. I think it is 900 uh, megabytes. Ooh. So um, yeah, so it's it's almost a gigabyte file. So uh, we're talking about big file sizes, and why? Because it's got a tremendous amount of data uh, attached to it. Um, so uh, once I've selected, I hit Add. Okay, and I've already done that. And so here we are looking at it. And if I zoom out, I mean, it, it begins to read like a topo map. I mean, it's, it's, it's totally incredible. Hey, Don. Yo. Can you, um, we can, so you can see the parcel lines. Um, is there, is there a layer or is there deeper information um, about the, the parcel line um, property line, if you will, uh, dimensions? Is that what I'm seeing in the right hand corner for the values or? Uh, yeah, good question. Um, let's see. So, uh, so I've got it loaded, um, and I'm looking at. Uh, by the way, I have selected my cursor. Notice my cursor is this little black arrow with the eye on it. That means info. It's this. It's this button right here. Uh, when you have that selected, and you have the parcel, uh, any of these, any of these layers selected, you can click on it. Okay. And that's interesting. There's two here somehow. I don't know. Is that some kind of? Um, I don't know how they. Is that like an, the way the city is organized, or if this application? Oh, there, there we go. I was clicking on the the two lines. So oh. there's one parcel. Okay, there's one parcel. I have um, all kinds of the information. So I have the or in the in the row, when I click on that with this information, it brings up all the attributes of that particular parcel that's in the database. So as I scroll down, we have the address, uh, zip code, um, ASR, um, sub name, so sub subdivision name, um, year built sixty. Um, also, it has a uh, 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 record building record embedded too yeah yeah number of bedrooms um, number of bedrooms but actual um, footage of the lot 
let's say usable it says usable square footage. I think. Yeah, right here. So yeah. these are things to look into. There's a PDF file, guys, that always comes. You can always download that uh, aside from this that may indicate what these uh, fields are. Uh, we have, yeah, so so there's all kinds of info in there, right? Uh, APN numbers, right? So in terms of planning, this is this is pretty, you know, pretty huge. And this will give you everything you need for, you know, in general for for the for this project. But I, I, I again, I, I like Philip's point. Uh, sometimes the analog is, is uh, always the kind of still like the, maybe the most solid. Um, so so this, this is the parcel information. OK, so that's how you're going to do it. You're going to go to Sandag uh, right here. Sandgis, Sandag GIS data warehouse over here. Once you once you log in over here, there. I mean, there's other layers too. If if in case you you know, but we're we're talking specifically about parcel here. Mm -hmm. You know, so in parcel, I have these kind of things. I have lots. I don't know what lots. You know, there's a lots layer, land base boundaries, uh, and then parcels probably for some of the uh, more unaffiliated uh, parts of San Diego. Okay, and then there's a PDF over here. Uh, associated with each of these files. So that's how you're going to get uh, this particular one. The other one you can pull down is zoning, you know, and hey, I think Don. I might have mentioned. Yes. Sorry, did, you said you used the assessor's book one, correct? No, I used the parcels one. Oh, just the parcels one. Okay, thank you. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, assessor's book. That's interesting. Uh, so, yeah, you can download any of these. Um, so uh, once, that's, once that's in, uh, oops, we... This that's how I brought brought that in. Now, um, the zoning. Okay, so zoning. There you go. Popped up in the corner there. Yeah, the zone pops up. And right. So here is you know as I keep going out right. This is like this is essentially the map that um, OJ was showing us earlier, right? Yeah. Uh, so. Um, I added a label, right? So that if I'm in here, um, I know like when I'm when I'm looking at this spot, and if you guys have this kind of one of these locations that you photographed, um, and you see this, what is that? LJ uh, LJSPD dash SF La Jolla Plan District. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. They get their own. They get their own like index number. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, so that's all in La Jolla, you know, thing. So, right. So I have this label, and this is just for. So, so let me just show you guys a couple of things, and then I'll turn it back over because this is really all like all we're kind of talking about is okay. I'm using this info thing, so I can grab any of these. I can grab data associated to any of these. Uh, um, things. The zoning isn't as interesting. There's just a few things in here, um, but it does give you again the RS one dash two. Yeah. Once so, you have that, mm -hmm. once they have that done, that's well all they really need. Then they can go dive into that chapter thirteen. Cool. Of the, of the municipal code, and, and that's then, then they're off to the races. Awesome. So yeah. So just to show you real quick, then the uh, way that I'm I'm. It might be useful if you can, you know, if you once you find, I think someone had, I think Madison had this one right here. Um, so, so say we're looking at your where you were focusing on. Well, I can see right here IP uh, one dash one, and uh, that's the that's the zone. Well, how am I able to see this when the when the when the information comes in? Um, just real quick, I'll just start from scratch so you can follow along. I'm looking at the Google satellite. I'm going over here to add anything. I'm going to hit this. Uh, I, oh, actually, I don't know where. <laughs> I did this on another computer. I don't know where my file is, so never mind on that. I'm not going to add it. I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm not going to spare. I'm not going to spare that time. So, uh, regardless, when it comes in, let's just do this. I'll go properties. Um, for any of this to change the visualization, go to properties. Um, it was it started off like this, uh, a single symbol with a single color. It'll come in and it'll also be, um, let's see here. Can I 
get it back to like, how do I get it back to solid? It's going to come in solid. Um, I'm not even going to try to resurrect how it comes in. Um, it's going to come in solid. Just trust me. It's going to be totally opaque. Uh, what you're going to want to do, and it's all going to come in as one color. So you're not going to be able to see what's going on under, underneath it. So, and you're not going to know the des designations. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click on this when it comes in properties. And that's just an important kind of detail. It gives you some more visualization control. You're going to go from single symbol to categorized right here. And then your value, this is pulling from the attributes table that I'm show I was showing you in the lower right hand corner is going to be the zone uh, name. And then you put just random colors is fine. I'm going to say apply. And let's see. Oh, no, sorry. Random colors uh, classify. This is the next step zone. I, I designate the zone name and then classify. That just triggers the um, the color delineations. I'll, I'll say apply. Right. And then if it's still opaque, you're going to click right here. Uh, let's see, is it the drop down? Yeah, this drop down here on the right is this the solid, the symbol color right here on this drop down on the right. Drag your, drag your transparency down a little bit. Apply so that you can get, you can get through it and see what's going on underneath it. And then, and then you're good. Um, again, with the parcel on top, um, you're, you know, you're going to have, you're going to have a really intense amount of data. Uh, at your at your at your dis, dis, disposal. Any any questions about that before we move on? I might as well if there answer any questions that are burning right now about QGIS. Oh, okay, good. We'll assume that then that's clear. Um, all right, uh, Philip, take it away. Yeah. 